Of course Kevin Durant liked what LeBron did because Kevin Durant is like about half of America. He's incredibly comfortable with change. Kevin Durant went to three different high schools, starred in all of them. He went to four places in three and a half years. He grew up in D.C., went to college in Texas, drafted by Seattle, and they immediately moved to Oklahoma City. His high school graduation to his second year in the NBA, four places, thrived in all of them. Do you know the average American lives 18 miles from their mom? 40% of Americans never leave their area code. Everybody listening to me has somebody in their family still lives where they grew up. And then there's that one kid in the family that wanted to try new stuff, challenges, mobility. That's Kevin Durant. This is why I say the Warriors dynasty is much closer to the end than it is to the beginning or the middle. It's really close to the end. I think they'll be in the finals next year. I've taken the Celtics to beat them. That will create phrase and fatigue, and it will break up. And my guess is Kevin Durant moves on. Because there's, there's really four people that have changed the NBA. And I've been watching it since the 70s. The big four, Magic and Bird saved the league. Michael Jordan made it global. And LeBron has made it mobile. So Kevin Durant, who's incredibly comfortable with change, has grown up in the era where we're increasingly very comfortable with stars changing. And everybody freaks out about the Warriors and the Dynasty, which has proven to be very good for ratings. But this is why I keep saying, oh no, this Dynasty, they never last as long as we think. And you see little signs and little signals. And Kevin Durant's going to have, after next year, potentially three titles in three years and three finals MVPs. And then Steph Curry's probably going to say, you know, we, we got all the rings and we got all the cash. Maybe I'd like to win an MVP. And um, it's going to happen sooner than later. That's why they bring on Boogie Cousins, because they have to add toughness, because they're getting rich, and they're getting into social media, and they're becoming big stars. And they were already sort of the skinny jeans dynasty to begin with, but last year they looked against Houston really, really soft. But there's a reason millennials rent. I've got millennials in my family. Do you know why they rent? So they can find a better option. They don't want to own. They want to rent. And Kevin Durant's a millennial. And LeBron's a millennial. And they rent. They don't buy. Of course, Kevin Durant loved LeBron moving to Los Angeles. The kid that's comfortable with mobility in an era that is now safe and celebrated to be mobile. Good for Kevin. Always going to defend him. He's not going to be in Oakland very much longer. For the record, 16 of 26 NBA All-Stars, 16 of 26 just two years ago, are now on different teams. And it's not ending. I think Durant will end up, not that distant future, moving on. After perhaps another title. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.